Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now going to go through question number 10 from the International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P2 October 2021 paper. This is the last question on the paper, and it's about trig equations. So it's telling us to solve for x between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2 the equation tan squared 2x plus pi over 4 equals 3. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these limits here. And I'm going to change them such that the the x matches what's written in here. Okay, because we have to make sure we don't lose any solutions. I can't lim limit myself to these this range when I'm solving this because what's ri written here is not x. It's 2x plus pi over 4. So what I'm going to do is the x in the middle, I'm going to first multiply by 2x. So that's going to become, multiply each part by 2. So that's going to be pi and minus pi. And then I'm going to add pi over 4, so this looks the same as that. So 2x plus pi over 4. So to each part of the inequality, I'll also add pi over, pi over 4. So you've got uh, 1 pi, which is 4 pi over 4, plus pi over 4, which is 5 pi over 4. And minus pi plus pi, well that's minus 4 pi over 4, plus pi over 4, which is minus 3 pi over 4. Okay, so I need to f collect all the solutions between these two limits. And then um, I'll make sure that way I'll make sure I don't lose any solutions. And the other thing we've got to be very careful of here is this is going to split up into two parts because we got to find tan, we got to first of all find the square root of this square root both sides, so we're left with tan. So this will become the tan of 2x plus pi over 4 is equal to the square root of 3, but the positive and negative square root of 3. So if we leave out one of them, we'll lose some of our solutions. So we're going to have two branches to this. We're going to have the tan of 2x plus pi over 4 is equal to root 3. And you can also have the tan of 2x plus pi over 4 is equal to negative root 3. So now we've got to solve these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take inverse tan of both sides. In, in this case, I'll have 2x plus pi over 4 equals... Now, if I take the inverse tan of pi over 3, I have to first of all make sure that I am in... Radian mode. The calculator must be in radian mode here. So this this calculator right now is in degree mode. So I'll press shift, menu, and angle input, and change it into radian mode, which is 2. Now it's in radian mode. So now I'm going to press shift tan, inverse tan of pi over 3. And that will give me, sorry, not pi over 3, root 3, sorry, which gives me pi over 3. Okay. And here I'm going to take the inverse tan of pi over 4, uh, of, sorry, of minus uh, root 3. Now, let's, let's deal with this one first. We'll do that afterwards. Okay, now, so that's one of the solutions. It's inside our range, okay? We've got to generate other solutions from this as well. Now, if I add pi to this, if I add pi to, pi to this, for the tan curve, it just repeats every pi, every 180 degrees, every pi radians, it repeats. Okay, the tan curve is such that it just repeats every pi radians, every 180 degrees. So I just have to add pi to this and subtract, subtract pi from this to get other solutions in the range. Now, if I add pi to this, I'm going to add pi to this. It's, four, it's going to be pi over 3 plus pi. So the other solution will be pi over 3 plus pi, which gives me 4 pi over 3. Because that's like uh, 3 pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 3, which is 4 pi over 3. 3 pi over 3 plus pi, <coughs> sorry, pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 3, which gives me 4 pi over 3. So that's the other solution. Now, is that within our range? Let's compare it to 5 pi over 4. If it's bigger than 5 pi over 4, then it's outside of our range. Now, if I um, make these to the same denominator, this is going to be over 12. So this will be over 12, and I multiply that by 4, so that will be 16 pi over 12. If I multiply this, it's going to be, if I multiply it by 3, this is going to be 12. That'll be 15 pi over 12. This is slightly outside of the range. So this actual solution, I can't accept it. Okay, this solution is outside of our range. Okay, of course, if I add more pi's, I'll be outside of the range. Now I've got to go the other way, because it repeats every pi, even pi before. So if I subtract pi from pi over 3, I'll also get an angle, which has the same uh, tan ratio as this. So pi over 3 minus pi is like pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 3, which is minus 2 pi over 3. Is that within our range? Okay, this is minus two thirds and this is three quarters. So if we compare them, this is going to be over 12 
Um, this is going to be 9 over 12. And over 12, this is going to be multiplied by 4, 8 over 12. So this is within our range. Okay, it's within the range. It's less than, the, it's within the range of this. It's, it's, you know, basically greater than this. It's within the range for this. So the two solutions from here are 2x plus pi over, <coughs> over 4 equals minus 2 pi over 3 and pi over 3. Those are the two solutions from this section. Now I'm going to go to this section. Now I haven't finished quite yet because I have to now find x. I have to add pi over 4 and divide by 2, but I'll do it at the same time. I'm going to first find the solutions from this section here. So I've got 2x plus pi over 4 equals. Now if I change that to minus pi, minus root 3, sorry, that gives me minus pi over 3. Okay, and the other solutions, well, let's add pi to that. If you add pi to that, that's going to give me 2 pi over 3. Okay, and that's within our range because we've got to go up to 5 pi over 4. So this is, of course, less than 1 pi. That's more than 1 pi, so that's okay. That's okay as well. And to find other solutions, if you take minus pi over 3 and you take away pi, that's going to give me minus 4 pi over 3. Okay, and minus 4 pi over 3, if you compare it to this, again, this is going to be outside, similar to this one, because this is going to give you minus 16 um, pi over 12, and this is minus 15 pi over 12, so it's outside of the range. So from this, we got 2x plus pi over 4 is equal to, you're going to have minus pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3 as our solutions. Now what we have to do is we have to add pi over 4 and divide by 2 each of these values. So I'm going to add pi over 4. <clears throat> okay, that gives you minus pi over 12. And then divide by 2. Okay, minus 1 pi over 24. Let's do it one at a time. So we're going to add pi over 4 to this. So we're going to have negative 2 pi over 3. Okay, we've got to add, we've got to, so we've got to take away pi over 4. Take away pi over 4 because you've got to subtract pi over 4 and divide by 2. So take away pi over 4. Okay, and then divide by 2. That gives you minus 11 pi over 24. And I guess this one is going to be, um, no, it's going to be slightly different. Let's just carry on. And you're going to have pi over 3, where we have to take away pi over 4. So I'm going to have pi over 3. I'm going to have to take away pi over 4. Oops. Okay, pi over 3, take away pi over 4, and then the answer I've got to divide by 2. That gives me pi over 24. All right, and from this side, I'm going to have x equals, so I do the similar kind of thing. I've got minus pi over 3, minus pi over 4. So I've got negative pi over 3. Take away pi over 4. Okay, and then I've got to divide by 2. That gives me mi minus 7 pi over 24. And then the same thing with this one. I've got to take away pi over 4 from that. So this, let's change this. This is 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 4, and then divided by 2. That gives me 5 over 24 pi. 5 pi over 24. So those are all our solutions. You have minus 11 pi over 24, minus 7 pi over 24, you got 5, you got pi over 24, and 5 pi over 24. And those are all the solutions for this equation here that we got in the beginning. So important thing to note is to use radian mode. The other important thing to note is don't forget plus or minus root 3, otherwise you lose half the solutions. And the other important note is to change the limits according to what it says in here. So you don't you know, lose solutions that way as well. So there's the answer to part 1. Now I'm going to go on to part 2. Now part 2 says solve for theta between 0 and 360. The equation in brackets 2 sine theta minus cosine theta all squared equals 1. Now in this case... 
if I was to take the square root of both sides, I'll be left with something that I can't really solve because I'll have two sine theta minus cosine theta equals one and two sine theta minus cosine theta equals negative one. And I can't really do much with that because uh, you know it's not something where I can change anything or deal with it in an easy way. So the only thing left for us to do really is to square the bracket. So if you square the bracket, this is like the first term will be four times sine squared theta. And then the middle term will be minus you multiply these together and then you double it. That's like the middle term. That'll be 4 times sine theta times cosine theta. And then you square the last term, which gives you plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Okay, so now looking at this, we can't really do much with these two because this is 4 sine squared theta. This is cosine squared theta. So I can't really say that's equal to 1, which wouldn't even really help us, to be honest. But what we can do is we can say, okay, let's change this cosine squared theta using our very important identity that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So I can write cosine squared theta as 1 minus sine squared theta. Then I'll have you know, the whole equation with just sine squared thetas in it, and then we can do something maybe. So have 4 sine squared theta minus 4 sine theta cosine theta, and you've got plus... 1 minus sine squared theta equals 1. Now, sometimes when you're doing this, you, do, you can't see how it's going to work, to be honest. You just, you're just doing whatever you can do. There's nothing else you could really do apart from this. And you're, you're kind of going through this blindly, not really knowing how it's going to help. And as you progress, things just clear up and you think, oh, okay, that's how I can do it. So now we can see that there's like terms. 4 sine squared theta minus sine squared theta is 3 sine squared theta. Then I've got minus 4 sine theta times cosine theta. And this 1 and this 1, if I try to bring them together, it's going to become 0. Cancel out. So equals 0. Now I can see that we have a common factor here of sine theta in these two terms. So I can take that sine theta as a common factor outside. I'm left with 3 sine theta minus 4 cosine theta equals 0. So I have now a product of two factors that equal 0. I can use a zero product property to say that either sine theta equals zero or three sine theta minus four cosine theta equals zero. Now I can deal with both of these. This I can solve. Okay, I can find the values of theta for which sine theta is zero. That's easy. And this I can also deal with because it says equals zero. What I can do here is I can divide both sides by cosine theta in order to use identity. This is three sine theta over cosine theta minus 4 cosine theta over cosine theta. Of course, this will stay as 0. They cancel out. You're left with 3 tan theta minus 4 equals 0. Now, remember, the, the reason I wrote that is because sine theta over cosine theta is equal to tan theta. That's an identity we're supposed to know along with this identity here. These are very important identities that we must know. And tan theta is sine theta over cosine theta. That makes us have now just one trig ratio, which I can now use to solve. I can add 4 to both sides and divide both sides by 3. Now, when I solve these two equations, okay, I will have all the solutions I need. Um, but I have to be careful. Theta must be in degrees between 0 and 360. I don't have to modify the angle this time because it says theta and here it says theta. But I have to get all the angles within the range. Now, for sine theta equals 0, Okay, I know that sine theta equals 0 at 0, 180, 360, but look at the range. Be careful about the range. We can't include 0 or 360 because it says greater than 0 and less than 360. If there was an equal sign, then the, the solutions for that would be 0, 180, and 360. But here, it's only 180 that you can choose. If you're not sure, you can just use your calculator. Make sure this time it's in degree mode. So change it back to degree mode. And then you can say inverse sine of zero and it'll give you zero degrees okay so if you if you did that with your calculator it'll give you zero which is not included but 180 minus this gives you other solution in the range so 180 minus zero is 180 so this is if you like just do it according to what we know from the sine curve but if you you you, you should understand what the sine curve looks like and you can very easily, without you know doing this calculate stuff, you can work out that 0, 180, and 360. But we only include the 180 because of the limits here. And for the next one, we can use our calculator. Inverse tan of 4 over 3. Okay, that gives us 53.130. 53. 53. 
0.130 and as we know the tan curve repeats itself every 180 degrees so if I add 180 to this I'll find another angle in the range that gives me 233.130 okay of course if I take away 180 from this it's going to be outside of the range if I add another 180 to this that's also going to be out of my range so those are the only two solutions so the question said give your answers where appropriate to one decimal place so because theta is equal to 53.1 degrees 233.1 degrees and 180 degrees of course that doesn't have to be given to one decimal place because it's exact and there are the answers for this question and this concludes this paper of october 2021 from the pure mathematics p2 exam all the other questions you can find in the playlist which should be over here in this area over here i will also include the this the pdf um, version of the paper and the mark scheme in in the playlist description you'll see a link to that um, all questions that you want to find from trigonometry of p2 can be found in this link over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon